Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again with a sort of unboxing video. Now, I was going to open this at the house yesterday, got a little too excited about it, so I opened it up anyways. Sorry about that. But uh, what we have here is a mystery box from Otter Valley Railroad. Now, that is a train store in Ontario, in Canada, and uh, they were offering these mystery boxes for sale on their website. They were $99 Canadian for this, so us in the US, we got a little bit of a discount on it. <clears throat> but uh, it came with, according to the site, um, $150 Canadian worth of stuff, basically, and you didn't know what you were getting, hence the mystery. Now, I like a surprise, and I thought this was a good idea and a good deal for what you were getting, so I went ahead and picked one of these up, and I got a lot of good stuff in here, so unfortunately my reaction won't be caught on camera, which kind of sucks. Again, sorry about that. I just, I couldn't wait to get it open, and I didn't really want to bust the camera out then, so. But let's go ahead and take a look at what all I got. So, typically with these mystery boxes from Otter Valley, you get two freight cars, some vehicles, and then some other miscellaneous stuff. And that's what we got here. So I'll go ahead and start off with the rolling stock. So the first thing I got, and by the way, these boxes were just for HO and N scale. So uh, I believe they said they were doing 50 of the HO boxes and 25 of the N scale boxes, but they still have them listed on their website. So you could still get some of these. But anyways, first up, we have an Atherin ready to run Union Pacific bulkhead flat which is pretty nice. I think this is a fairly recent run. Uh, I'm not entirely up on my release schedules for HO stuff, but uh, either way, a 60 foot bulkhead flat Union Pacific, that's pretty cool. I'll definitely have a use for that on the layout. And the second rolling stock piece that I got was this Atlas Master Series British Columbia Railway boxcar, which is nice. This is an Evans 53 foot double door, plug door box car. I think I might actually have a box car that's similar to this, I can't remember. I know I have a BC Rail box car, so might actually have this one, might not be the same road number, but either way, I'll take another opportunity to get more BC Rail green in my fleet anytime I can. So next up, let's get to the vehicles. Now, the first one we got here is from Trainworks, and it is a, 40 foot drop frame Union Pacific trailer. Now I believe this sort of leans more on the steam era side of things, but either way, that is a nice looking trailer. I really like that. So that was the first vehicle. Next up, we have a truck and tractor from, what is this company called? Truck and Stuff. <laughs> or yeah, Trucks and Stuff, there you go. But it is a, uh, the Lindit group, I think. Uh, but it is an oxygen refrigerated liquid container tra uh, trailer. And that's actually pretty nice. The detail on this is pretty good. You know, I'm not exactly up on vehicles per se in our hobby, in any scale really, but this is a good little tractor trailer. So I like that. And then the last vehicle I got is actually a kit. This is a Lone Star Models uh, Trail Mobile 40 foot flatbed kit. So that's pretty cool. And it comes with a laser cut wood uh, top for it. So that's pretty cool. I'll definitely be building that here soon. And then some other little odds and ends that came with the kit. First of all, I got these little weights for Pinewood Derby cars, which uh, these can actually be used in model train equipment, so you don't need to use it just for that. And so these will be useful. I got from NJ International two green trash bins. You can kind of see them better on this side, but they're the big two, uh, two flap top trash containers. So that is pretty cool. I think these are metal as well. I haven't taken them out of the packaging yet. 
Next up, I got a little uh, neutral gray artist pastel pad from Pan Pastel. And finally, I got a little weathering sponge brush as well. So that'll be really handy. Also in the box, I got some other little odd demands. I got a Otter Valley Railroad business card. They gave me this one and then they also uh, gave me one that was a refrigerator magnet and there is the QR code on the back. So if you guys who have that ability on your phone, I'll hold this up here for a minute and you guys can scan the QR code and that'll take you right to the store, to their website. And then finally I got a little Otter Valley pin here. And it's got the name of the company and it has their phone number on it. And this is a good little pin, so it's got that. And it's also got a stylus on the other end, so. And then finally at the bottom of the mystery box here, we've got this little thing here, just says mystery box. <laughs> and it is signed by Lauren James, who is the owner of Otter Valley Models. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, I got quite a lot of loot in this mystery box. So for for $99 Canadian, that is a really good deal for what all you get in this box. You know, that I, like I said, I got a ton of stuff here. So either way, this is gonna be pretty good. And I look forward to adding all of this stuff to my layout in the near future. So I will include a link in the description box of this video that will take you to Otter Valley's website where you can get these mystery boxes. Again, they're $99 Canadian right now and they do take PayPal. So just make sure that your debit card or credit card can do purchases outside of the United States. So that's, that's an issue I ran into. I actually had to sign a waiver from my bank. So, but it was worth it, you know? So that's really all I had for this video. So. I will catch up with you guys later in another video where we're going to check out some stuff I got at the train show, the Piedmont Division train show in Cartersville, Georgia. So stay tuned for that one. And hey guys, guess what? We just hit 3,000 subscribers. Yes. So thank you guys so, so much for that. And I will be doing stuff for that later on down the road. So, but thank you guys so much for that. And I will see you guys in the next video and down the road. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.